10, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, main engine start, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Columbia. Okay, it's, uh, this is the first flight in quite a while since I flew with Joe, I believe. And um, yeah, finally found a clear, calm, not so hot day. <laughs> so it's been a long time waiting. So anyway, we've got the uh, Citation Patriot with a C53 as opposed to the C6, which I normally do, but uh, I think I get better results with the C, uh, C5. Uh, running dual altimeters and the Astrocam on board. and. Let's see, skies are clear. Winds are calm right now. We're going to go for it. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Open, open, open. Oh, my goodness. It kind of opened at the last second. <laughs> wow. Okay. As you probably saw, the chute kind of got hung up in the tail, probably because in fact it was coming down when it ejected. It actually did open like at the very last second, but I think the rocket had already started hitting the ground. And uh, yeah, we got a busted fin. I was afraid of that. Yeah, it knocked the fin off. But uh, not the first time that's ever happened to me. But everything else looks okay, so I think we'll be all right.
Okay, now we're running the indicator on a C6-5 motor, running the Astrocam and a single flight sketch mini altimeter. Uh, the sun's kind of breaking over the mountains, it's getting a little warmer, so I want to get these flights in quickly. Um, but we are ready to go, sky is completely clear, winds are dead calm, now's the time to do it. We're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good climb. Good ejection. Awesome. Let's see if I can find it here on the camera. There it is. That was a textbook flight. I stay behind the vehicle, I could avoid the sun. That's what I'm trying to keep out of the lens. It's coming down nicely, a little wobble, but that's normal. And we have touchdown. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> now I know on the descent, the perception was that it looked pretty close to those power lines, but in actuality, we weren't even close. If I was zoomed in on it so much, it kind of had that effect. This is going to be easy to find because the sun's glistening off the parachute pretty well, so I've already got it in sights. Got to go through a few washes though to get to it. But it came down nice and slow, which is always good for the onboard equipment. Just about there. Beautiful. Perfect. Just the way we like it. Okay, we're running the Red Giant on a C6-3 motor and running the 18-inch uh, parachute. Hopefully we'll have a nice slow descent like we did on the last flight. Uh, now's the time to go. The skies are still clear. Winds are calm. We are armed. Everything's ready to go. We're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect climb up. 
Good shoot. And where's it on the camera? There it is. Another textbook flight? It's going to land a little closer than the last one. Just on the other side of the road. Perfect. Okay, same as before, that, like I said, those power lines look close. But uh, the rock is just right here. The power lines are way out there. But when I zoom in on it, it has that effect. Okay. Oh, there it is. It was off by a few feet. There we go. I got things stretched out. Full length. That is gorgeous. Perfect flight. Okay, here's flight number two on my mean machine. I am running an E124 just like before. Uh, it worked perfect last time. It should work again, good again this time. Uh, running the 36 inch parachute as well. Got the dual altimeters and the astrocam up on the nose. All cameras are rolling. Altimeters are armed. Skies are clear. Wind is calm. We're ready to go. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's see how close it can come to us. It's a uh, right overhead 
Let me see. No, I think it's going to land. Well, maybe. No, it's going to be too far out. Perfect touchdown. Perfect flight. Yeah, as before, I don't think I could have asked for a better flight. I mean, it went straight up. Perfect uh, deployment at the top. And uh, couldn't ask for a slower descent either. Landed nice and soft on the tail. And then uh, gently laid down onto its side. So again, another huge shout out to Don from Retro Rockets for giving me the idea of putting that bulkhead in and uh, not having the, the whole tube for, man, that is a long rocket. And not needing the whole extension for the, uh, the ejection. How am I gonna fit all this in the camera? There we go, absolutely perfect, great flight. Thank mm -hmm. you.